What up, everyone? It's your boy, K Red. And your girl, AJ. And we are back with another video. So today, we are going to do a review and a recap of Love Island USA Season 6, Episode 31. So if that's something that you're interested in, keep watching. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this. So the episode starts with Janae and Kenny going inside the hideaway. So they walk in, they're admiring the room, they go to the closet with all of the toys and stuff. And you know, they're whipping and talking about, you know, how they gonna spend a night or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was it was just a short little snippet or whatever. It was cute. It was showing, you know, like the chemistry and stuff between them. So next we go to Kayla and Aaron and they're having a conversation about how they're feeling about them being, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and they're talking about how much they mean to one another and don't wanna lose each other. And Kayla says that she's going to move to the UK <laughs> or come to the UK. She didn't say she was going to move. She said she was going to come to the UK. Um, she didn't move. I know. She and move. if you watched the I told last episode, Kevin I told did say that. He said the type from she her doing all man. that crying. Yeah. He did say that Kyler Look. is the type. He, she seemed like the type to sit there, you know. Chase him. <laughs> Whatever he need. How much money did she... When she around, when they did the little money, how much you spent on the christmas gift or a gift period i think period. she was and yeah. i think she was the she was probably the second one. yeah because I, I think leah said she spent like 600 or five something she leah leah spent a lot everybody yeah, I think was five thousand dollars or something like that oh i don't know about all that it was some, somebody think, spent like three thousand five thousand i don't on know like, but oh, they okay, they was good. they was some sugar mamas so Aaron goes on to talk about how he can't wait to go outside of the island with her and just, you know, do simple everyday couple stuff. And Kayla then goes on to ask him about, you know, what type of American food he had because she just can't wait to show him like American food. So I don't know. I... I just don't think it's gonna work. I just don't like they talking about outside stuff, but I just I'm sorry. Like I'm not trying to speak bad on a relationship, but I just don't see it. Like I don't see it working out. I don't. It might it might not work for you, but it it'll work for them. Probably. Maybe they, you know to you each know his own. Yeah. I know me personally, so, I wouldn't be able to do a long distance relationship like that. Well. Um, you never know until you try. Honestly, I feel like right now where I'm at in life, I probably would be able to do a long distance relationship. But at 24, like, 25, yeah, but I say at 24, 25, like no. If you had to go work for six months, seven months inside of another country, I feel like we would be able to do that. And then with me, you yeah, know, traveling ever. Bread, yeah. But like at 24, if you would have asked me this when we first got married, heck no. 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 It's a negative. So, anywho. So, then the camera goes to the pods where the guys are talking about the night and saying how, you know, they felt like it was love in the air. And Miguel is saying that he thought it was something put in the wine. Um, and then the camera cuts to the girl's makeup area where Kayla is talking to the girls and telling them about how she can't believe that she was able to experience something like this and started crying per usual. Y'all, I'm so tired. I'm tired of Kayla and this crying baby. She crying every episode, whether it's because Aaron didn't sit here and did something to her or because she just overly emotional about their relationship, about something, whether it's good or bad. I'm tired. So he's like, well, he's her second boyfriend. Yeah, she And she probably that. only dated two guys. But, oh, no, because she had, was he? Yeah, they, was, on here, did she even no, date other? She was the first. He was the first oh person she went to and didn't remember. Ah! She kissed Connor, but she didn't like take him serious or nothing. He's been her oh only like God. person this whole entire time for real. No, mm. it's a negative. So then it cuts back to Janae and Kenny inside the hideaway. Then back to the other roommates talking about how they feel that Janae is gonna break Kenny. <laughs> and half and how you know pretty and stuff she was looking janae did she looked like a bomb like a victoria's secret bombshell she looked really really Man, good you know inside her reminded, outfit she reminded me of uh old girl dancing in new jack city for nino brown what 
Okay. 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 No, Somebody, I didn't watch it. She was but like still, a little girl. no, I don't. Like, don't okay. say. Wait, was she a stripper or was she? No, just a girl? she was just dancing oh, okay. for the guy. Okay, I just want to make sure lingerie. you wasn't. She had the same type of lingerie oh, okay. on. I just want to make sure I'm gonna you find that image of her up there. She, like, mm-hmm. she reminds you of a stripper because you know how they do with black women. They be sexualizing and fetishizing them. So I just want to make sure you ain't put her in the category of just being a stripper, not. A bombshell, like to me, she people can think like, anything. They like, I know, oh, but I'm saying she talking about her because she got a chip tooth. No, or she talking about her. No, that's she not what I'm saying. What I'm people saying is like they automatically put dark skinned women in a category of just being like a raggedy street stripper. When I said she looked like a Victoria's Secret bombshell, meaning I elevated her to a different level than just being a, a, a street stripper. I'm saying what she had on. Okay, well what I'm saying same, is, I didn't look at her as a stripper. I felt like she was giving high class, vogue, like bombshell, Victoria's Secret. That's what she was giving. That's how I felt. I felt she was giving Victoria's Secret bombshell. You were saying she was giving new jack city and no. that's why i'm just like she was not giving no damn new jack city nigga like you ain't gonna do my own girl Janae like that it was, it was a dancing <laughs> scene man so I, it, it fits the whole I thing because they were okay. dancing and well, dressing I'm, up for so the I'm people like, who okay, ain't seen whatever. new jack city like me man. all we know how old are you chris how old are you being a crackhead how old are you you so in your 30s you mama you seen I'm new like, jack city that's the we, only man, like it's on. giving the you know New York streets drugs all the rest of it. So that's I'm what talking I about the was scene. Getting. Okay, the well I didn't I don't know the scene. So for the people, I just wanted us to elaborate for the people who haven't seen it. We're gonna have man, a diverse group okay. of viewers. They may not have man. seen that, so they probably was thinking the same thing as me. Everybody like, ain't seen she giving these, crackhead stripper. No, ain't like seen these Victoria was some super. But a lot more people have seen Victoria's she, Secret mainstream. Dude. Have seen Victoria. Victoria's Secret or no Victoria's Secret than New Jack City. You see, shit, it's two of us. I I'm have giving my shit. own opinion. That's fine. I just wanted I to clarify. That's show. fine. I just wanted to clarify so we won't Woman. be getting hate in the comment section. Like, why would you say that? They about gonna say Jimmy? whatever they want to say. So, anywho, next it cuts to the morning where Kayla says that Kenny is going to come out of the hideaway in a wheelchair. My thing is, y'all better put some respect See, on my boy Kenny. See, they can say what the fuck they want to say. No, they better put some respect on my boy Kenny name. Like, it be the quiet ones that be the real devious and freak nasty ones. Don't be sitting there coming down on my boy Kenny like he weak and fragile, Okay. Just because he quiet don't mean that he weak. And Janae reiterated that. She said he is very talented. Okay? He quiet, but he talented. Then um, it comes to Aaron and Rob having a conversation where he's talk- telling him that Daniela and him are just in two different places mentally. And he just feels like they're all they're on opposite planes of the earth basically at this point rob states that it's basically crazy how him and aaron been moving and you know been moving differently this whole entire time and he ends up with nobody but aaron over here freaking wilding you know what i'm saying flirting with other girls was wilding in casa doing all that and he still ended up with the girl at the end. And he thought he was moving righteous, basically. Yeah, he... Yeah, I think he, he felt did. like he was moving yeah. righteous. He had a good head on his shoulder. He yeah, was he as honest as possible, yeah. all the rest of this stuff. Because he... Following knew, his heart. Like, yeah, yeah, and he know like, that Aaron is on some BS. He, they be having their own private conversations that, of course, we haven't seen. And he know that his friend be on BS. He know that. So that's why he like, that's just crazy. Like you end up with the girl at the end. Now I'm still looking for love. Um, Daniela is waiting on Rob to fix her breakfast when he brings her to it. I was so happy to see it was not avocado toast. Baby, they sat there and did a full course meal. They had uh eggs, sausage, uh, oranges, some grapes on that mug. I said, thank God it's not avocado toast and eggs. Them niggas was avocado toasting and egging everything down to the ground. Every single breakfast was that. So I just wanted to input that because I was happy that he didn't bring her that. So in the next scene is where uh, Sierra and oh, uh, Day, Dan, Daniela. 
So Sierra and Daniela are talking at the bar and Daniela is just talking about how her and Rob were talking at night, you know, in bed and how she loves the words of affirmation. She feel as though he's like speaking life into her and Sierra is saying that she thinks that they really are compatible. Baby, both of y'all are delusional. Both of y'all are delusional. I feel like Daniela, she, she wants some, she wants Rob to like her. I, at she this needs point. somebody. Yeah. She wants somebody. Like, uh, I, I ain't on TV to get humiliated. You know what I'm saying? She like, yeah. somebody gotta like me. Shit, yeah. We on TV. Everybody saying yeah. that shit. And I don't care what nobody say. All these people got in the back of their head that this is a competition, okay? At the end mm -hmm. of the day, they're still thinking about that life-changing money, $100,000. So, yeah. Like, she, she just want him. She want to manifest it in her mind that this man is feeling her when rob is not feeling her i'm sorry he's just not oh and the thing is i can't even sit there and say that Daniela or that he was being fake about it because we could see it through the tv yeah. we could see it through the tv that he's not that interested in her and i feel like tell, she just ignored you can it even all. tell from the way he just rubbed her head yeah. i'm like oh my god yeah, it's like, like kevin has this like, thing kevin. why is he I'm like, from the, from the very first thing. moment well, when he first came, And he's a man, too, so he gonna know oh different, like, God. cues. Yeah, he gonna know different cues. But, like, it's been a couple of episodes. If y'all go back and watch the episodes, Rob, here, do do me how Rob been doing, Daniela. Oh, he. Like, as they talking, yes. It's, and to me. Looking off in the, yeah. in the sky, like, like, oh, yeah. yeah don't and care about like, your head. I'm just gonna touch your head. And that's the thing, like. In a, like a power a, play in a couple, if you feel as though y'all are both, I guess, like equal, the head rub is not gonna be one of the things that you do in in regards to like body language. Like it'll be this, it'll be more like full body type of contact than this. This I do to my children. Man, she you lean on, she saying? lean on them and stuff. No, she it's does. Just... Keyword, she does. He does not, You when have you seen him pull her in like a man does a woman that he's in love with or care about or feeling? I've never seen him do that to her since she's been in the house. I've no, never seen that. I haven't. So <laughs> all we've seen is her leaning on him and him sitting there rubbing her head. As in, hi, dear. She, he feels as though she's, immature, she's way more immature. She's not on his level. Right. Like, come here, little child. Come right. here, little child. It's giving that. <laughs> that is come what here, it's child. giving. Come here, child. Baby girl. Baby, baby girl. girl. Baby that, girl. Let me yes, help you out. that baby is girl. what it's giving. Baby girl. But she didn't see it. I'm a, it I'm a, completely I'm a, went I'm a, over I'm going to walk you to the next guy, baby girl, okay? you just <laughs> We just don't have time today for us. But you, you will be okay in the future. You yeah, know, so I don't gotta, think you've you, ever, some, like, Someone will fall in love with you, okay? Someone will fall in love. It's just not me, okay? It's just not me. While That's how he did. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So, Aaron and Rob go to the dock, and Rob starts to tell Aaron that he's not feeling like it's fair to let Daniela like him more and more every day while he's not feeling the same or liking her like that anymore. He doesn't see the point in letting it to continue to go on. So, uh, Rob says um, he should be investing more of his time into somebody who he like sees a future with and he don't really see a future like being with her and he feels like there's like an immaturity which i said people people may not vocalize how they feel about you but how they physically treat you like how they physically treat you will show you how somebody feels about you she was just more so trying to like people please than really be there for him because she actually like likes him so um yeah he says that clearly love island isn't somewhere for him to find love which if you've watched love island in previous seasons um rob wasn't like an original he was i think like one of the costa guys or one of the bombshells in um like a previous season so he's basically like this is my second time being here and i haven't found love once again janae and kenny come out of the hideaway and the girls and boys you know they separate and Kenny and Janae, you know, they start telling their respective groups about what was going on or whatever, or what happened. So basically, Janae tells the girls that everything basically happened except for 
like or she said hors d'oeuvres <laughs> hors d'oeuvres and finger foods happen and Kenny tells the guys like you know basically the same thing like everything basically happened except for the actual like do oh and then Miguel made the comment that Kenny because he was having like a little glow or gleam oh, to him when he came out so Miguel was like yes you went in as Kenny and came out as Kenneth like yeah, she was, made him into a man her. yeah Miguel Kenny was but, oh, right Miguel was uh he he be having his little one-liners that be funny Taylor and Aaron are laying on the couch and he's rubbing her down with oil and you know they're just having like a little conversation um and back and forth banter and Kayla is just Kayla is just talking about how much she cares about him and how she's falling for him harder and harder every day so then we go to Cordell and Serena they're like across from them on another little um couch thing and Serena is giving Cordell a massage okay girl keep your man um and she opens up the conversation um about them making things official and you know like physical once they get outside of uh the island or whatever and when they get back home and she says that she doesn't want to move faster just because the other you know couples are moving at their pace she don't want to put that pressure on her relationship to try to move as fast as everybody else so i think personally like i think that's a good thing though because i feel like in real life or if they didn't have this, weren't experiencing their like meeting the way that they're meeting right mm -hmm. now. Sh if that's how she normally operate, like stick to that, stay true to yourself. Like if you know good and well, you ain't you the type where you want to get to know somebody and you ain't sleeping with them for until y'all six, seven months in, then stick to that. Like don't just be sitting up here hooking up because you see everybody else moving how they moving in mm -hmm. their relationship. Like because mm -mm, my thing is in the long run I feel like in long term she's doing what's best for her so what if they end up not being together then she gonna be like dang I sat up here and gave myself away to this person when I could have just operated how I normally operate she gonna feel cheated in the end so I feel good like I feel like that's a good thing for Serena to sit there and do and I don't think it's because she don't like him because I know some people <laughs> would say it's because she still really don't like him but I think that no 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 I feel like <laughs> I feel like she really do care about him but it's just she's a hard person to crack and she already said that she was like I'm not really like super emotional up front and you know like I'm just a tough cookie and then people not realizing she's a pastor's daughter so it's no telling how he what type of rules and stuff she grew up with what type of upbringing so to her she probably feeling like well not I'm going to not have sex until I get married, but she could be like, shoot, I'm choosy about who I sleep with because my dad instilled that. You know what I'm saying? Like in me. So I, I don't know. I feel good that Serena is not just throwing her cool to mama just because they all of a sudden closed off now. That's just me. Yeah. Hey, hey. Somebody say you got to give him cool to mama. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't a rule. I know, oh, like, but that's how they be acting. Like they be acting like, oh, because they closed off or because they oh, like reward they, me, yeah, like, reward like because me. just um, everybody in general, you get know what I'm saying, is thinking like, oh, because they closed off or because like with Aaron you and Taylor, the TV show? yeah. Like, in just America in general is oh. probably thinking like, oh, well, because they decided to be closed off and because they boyfriend and girlfriend, like with Kyler and Aaron, uh. I didn't automatically think that they was like going into the hideaway. I thought they was going, you know, have sex, but they like, no, like so that's still, just to spend time still, with them. Man, you know, that's still like when you young, like you feel like you, oh, you'll get more if you become, make it official. Yeah. And it's like, we official now, let's make it happen. Like, come on, like, still steps to everything. Yeah. But so. Each his own. So, eventually, Rob has a conversation with Daniela where he breaks up with her and he talks about how hard it is having this conversation, but he feels that they are at two different places in life right now and that he doesn't think that they will be together long term. Daniela says that it breaks her heart a little bit, but she said that she'll be okay. So in her confessional, she says that she always feels like she's never enough for people. So my thing is, I'm glad that Rob like finally admitted to her that he just ain't that into her. 
we we knew that okay once andrea she my knew thing that. is she knew that yeah she, she knew, knew that. that i feel like she deep down that. she did or she maybe knew. she didn't and she is the immaturity but that's the immaturity that, that rob rocks. was yeah. talking about i can see that he's yeah, like everything that. is completely going over this girl head if he was with somebody who was a little bit more mature how he would be again? feeling her I, I didn't look to see how old she was but it may not even be about age it's just her mentality know, he may old, just feel like she's old. like because she still look young though, she do me, look though, young so. in the face she still got a baby face yeah. So, I don't know. But I'm glad that he sat there and said, like, what he said. And then Daniela talking about her little heart, bro. Girl, you've only known this man for maybe two weeks. You will be okay. But I can't even say that because it's different when you sit in there talking on the, or being with somebody 24 hours a day for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, technically, that's a little bit different. It's the equivalent of somebody being with somebody for about a month. I say that because you gotta, you get what I'm saying, like double it a little bit. Nah, that's being shady, with somebody man. 24 out, Kevin. We it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the 24, 24 I, hours. A day. But I'm saying I know that's what I'm saying. Like it's like being with family. You know what I'm saying? Living in the house with family again, but instead it's like relationship wise. Right. You know what I'm saying so you learn, but the that's like faster. Y'all ain't going to work. I ain't mean good. Y'all ain't going to work. Y'all ain't going out. It's like right. y'all just concentrated. So on that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's compounded. Compared Not into, to I wouldn't say a month. I'll give it like at least three months because most of the time you're only going to be with a person probably like two, three hours before you like, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's you true. You know what I'm saying? So, but they 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? And right. there's no, there's no faking it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's like the true. person going to see the real you eventually. While, yeah, after you know what I'm saying? a while, crack. I say 24 hours of being with somebody consistently. Yeah. I say by the time you hit day three or four, you, gonna see you just like, like baby, you know, I can't keep this working, up. So yeah, like I can't, I, give I can't sit here and keep this yeah. up. Like talking to you. They going to come out of here like yeah. camps. I'm like, they going to be like, nah, that ain't worth it. Yeah. Baby girl, nah. <laughs> Rob so, will be out here. He gonna be scantless when he get out here in these streets. I can see him out here like, uh, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm he's like, I learned so much. Yeah, saying going through that <laughs> uh -huh. that situation or that experience. Yeah. And Yella tells Sierra about Rob dumping her, and Rob <laughs> tells Aaron about how he broke up with Daniela and that he feels like it was the right thing to do. Daniela is crying and she says that she really cares about Rob and the fact that she had two people. And they basically saying that she wasn't good enough, um, really hurt her. So she did say that she needs to um, learn how to love herself before she can give that love to somebody else. Cause mm -hmm. I'm guessing like before this, even before this situation, her getting inside the house and stuff, she probably been having the same issue within relationships, which everybody does that. So it's not to sit up there and come down on her that's yeah. you know stuff before i had met kevin or whatever i had to sit there and deal with that as well like loving myself and and start instead of trying to find it in other people and have them show me my value i had to learn how to value myself and then be able to love everybody you know mm -hmm. someone else so you know and once again that comes with her being young so but she's probably not only young like you said Mm -hmm. She is. I didn't say that. I didn't just say said she it wasn't like young. a couple minutes ago. No, she I just... didn't. I didn't say she wasn't young. I said I didn't look up her age. I said, but also just because her age is whatever doesn't mean that she still doesn't have an immature mentality. I didn't say that as factual. I already said that I didn't look up her age to know how old she was. Mm -hmm. But once again, it goes back to immaturity whether she's sitting up there she 40 year i know 40 year olds who still ain't got no no dang on self-love who don't know this concept yet so it still is disregarded with age it's about experience and learning from those experiences so leah and miguel are having a conversation and leah is talking about how happy she is with her and miguel and that he gives her peace then she says that when he brings her breakfast and does nice things for her, she feels a little bit guilty and that she feels that is because of her previous relationships that she has to tell herself that it's okay for people to like her and to do nice things for her. But with Leah saying that, I think Leah, I don't know if she, I feel like Leah is too nice. I feel like she'd be too nice to people and people have run over her um in the past and 
she's used to people running over her because baby if somebody yeah, came can yeah because even with uh with the whole rob thing i honestly i don't feel like leah was wrong i'm sorry i don't feel like leah was wrong I don't feel like Leah sat there and intentionally was like, let's get Andrea out of the house. I don't feel none of that. I feel like Rob was making it I seem. Do. I feel I know. that part, I but now she like... probably, like, the, at first she she did, you know what I'm saying? But now yeah, she's, I'm pretty sure she Miguel was hurt. On her, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So now she's no, like, no, she's no, no like, I feel like, I feel like Leah was hurt. I do. I feel like Leah was hurt when uh rob switched up on her yes. and got with andrea but that's because rob was not being completely forthcoming about how deeply he liked andrea my thing is don't be sitting here making it seem like i have nothing to worry about when in fact i do have something to worry about because at that point leah would have started he, he told them both options. but he told them both it was 50 50 right no he didn't I that, think was, he that did. was cordell that was the 50 50 with uh no not cordell that was kendall Ken, that was kendall when them talking about that 50 50 stuff oh. he did not tell her no he didn't give her no percentage in that no he, did. <laughs> no, he thought... didn't that wasn't them it wasn't them that wasn't them so my thing is but he just said he's feeling them both he said that he he was interested in andrea and that he was looking for he is open to her to getting to know her a little bit more saying in those uh her yeah, he's pulling open him to, to getting the, andrea you know what i'm saying so basically but he, he said telling, it ain't like that he was downplaying how much he was interested in getting to know her okay 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 i'm trying and to remember the might, episode and did you, she it wasn't nobody like oh and she seen him did none of that happen she didn't never seen him and andrea together yeah. interacting yeah no remember she, andrea was pulling him off to the side oh they were sneaking and everything no 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 no. they well that was him and leo with liz remember you thinking about liz andrea came after liz but he never so, snuck with andrea though no he never snuck with andrea so that was leah's whole thing leah's whole thing was you did all of this when it came to liz you were sitting here pulling but me he off ain't to the have side. to do it Taking me he, down to the dog. He ain't have Coming to do to me, it. Telling me how he much ain't have you, to do it with Andrea though, because Andrea and was pulling him. Stuff. So when Andrea came about, he she so thought like it Leah. was just like with Liz. That was the whole thing in Liz's brain. She thought it was like with Liz, like okay, a girl like you, oh, but we didn't went okay. through this already. Okay. When no, with Andrea, he was feeling <laughs> Andrea. He like, oh no, yeah, he, hold on. He went, I, I remember now that way went yeah, crazy. Yeah, when Andrea came in, he's like, oh wait, hold on. I remember her. That boy like, I want both. I so, right. and that's what he was I don't want to break no first, hearts. I don't want to break then, your hearts. When it came down to I it, he that. had he had to make the choice. He chose Andrea. So Leah was like, dang, like if you would have set up here and let me know that it was legit a 50-50, like you was feeling her, feeling All her, right. I would have opened my options more. I wouldn't have been sitting here this last couple days. You've been sitting here going and talking to her. I would have been going and talking to other people. It was more so like that with Leah. I don't like, think dang. nobody else was in at the time. Uh huh. Because remember Connor? Connor ended up talking to Leah. That's how Leah stayed in. Because Connor was feeling her, but he didn't want to step on Rob's toes. So she could have been before this whole thing. She could have been sitting there talking to Connor. Um, I just think like in her apologizing to him so much i was just like girl i want to apologize especially after he seen because i was annoyed as well we didn't do a, a review on it but when rob was doing all that extra stuff hiding underneath the pool crying doing all the rest of this extra stuff baby i would have been just like leah because what you're not gonna do is gaslight me and make me feel as though i'm wrong and i need to cater to you when you literally yeah, blindsided me yeah, you my blindsided man, me i know he probably hate that he hate that for the rest of his life everybody seen that yeah oh well that's him <laughs> stop being so freaking extra I'm so like, i wouldn't yeah. apologize about it i would have been like and and did and will again if you sit there and and choose to talk to me or treat me like that like at the end of the day you blindsided me at that point we were having a conversation about how you blindsided me but now all of a sudden at the end of this conversation i'm supposed to be feeling bad about you about how you blindsided me no going on about your business as a matter of fact girl you good because we wouldn't even been having a conversation we i would have been like there's nothing to talk about you made your choice stick with your choice like sometimes i be feeling like leah just be caping too much and be 
pick me, pick me. I just want to be comp comp aesthetic and cool with everybody. You ain't got to do that, baby. Do what's best for you because everybody is going to always do what's best for them. And what happened at the end, Rob fucked himself over and then he wants to sit here and start looking sideways again like he wants to rekindle some shit. No, take your ass on that goddamn boat and take your ass home, which you should have did when Andrea and Andrea left. He should have left with Man, Andrea. I don't care. Rob needs to talk to Aaron and figure out what, what kind of seashells to give her ass. No, Leah good. <laughs> Leah don't want him no more. She good with Miguel. <laughs> so Aaron receives a text message and it states that there is going to be another challenge tonight and that it is going to set hearts on fire. So everyone is getting dressed for the night. And Daniela is literally crying her eyes out, baby. Saying she feels so stupid. But you know, of course, how the girls are. They reassuring her, girl, you ain't stupid. Da 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 da. Girl, I'm so used to the girls doing this up with Rob. I'm like, what type of mouthpiece Rob got? Because, baby, these girls be boohooing over Rob question. behind. But, wait, okay, when you young, every relationship, you know what I'm saying, you was in and you broke up with, or, and it was like, if the person broke up with you, yeah. did you cry? If I they, did. To myself, in my room, in the closet, Okay. Not on national TV, baby. I wouldn't have been able to. Okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. Now, and never Even if in the front relationship of them. was only like a two-week relationship. Never in front of them, baby. No, I'm talking about if, if it was like a two-week relationship away from girlfriend. I could say that. You still cried? I cried when I, uh, yeah, because me and, and you I, met and when I was, I was only, 21. Yeah, and I was only. So, I was about ninth through ages 19 to 22. Because me and you got together, we but got married much, by the time I was 23. But how much So you from think 19 to, to 22, or 18, 18 to 22, uh-huh. And that was, okay, did, okay, did you date the person, or you went straight to, oh, we doing everything like we a couple already? And so they some said of them they, was like, we doing everything like we a couple, and some of them was, we dating, so... So, you, so you, basically, the ones that it was we doing everything like we a couple, those are the ones I cried over. The other ones where it was like, you know, we was talking or whatever, and we had good conversation, and then we fell off. No, like that, that I'm not crying about that. It was, I say in my life, I cried over maybe five boys. It's probably been five. And half of them wasn't because they like, broke my heart broke my heart deron was probably the first one that's because he moved away so of course i'm gonna cry because he moved away you ain't gotta mention no names on what? youtube shit oh uh, well damn you but, but still Anyways. you don't know who gonna be there. she's still talking about you oh yeah you see what? that i don't care i live in my truth but, but anyway. still i ain't got time okay hey, whatever hey, hey. i don't give a See, this is why I'm saying like Leah. Like, girl, who cares? Like, you got a problem, that's your problem. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to live in my truth. Yeah, probably like four or five guys, maybe. That's it. Out of my whole entire life. And then one of them was you. And then the other one, my baby daddy, God rest his soul. And then uh, my high school sweetheart. The rest of them, oh no, it, it was more than that. But that's because they did me dirty. One other one. He did me dirty. Like, I had a girl come to me as a woman. So, yes, I am going to cry about that. So, about six. I say about a good six. Yeah, six dudes cried over. Yeah. But this, them knowing them for two weeks or No, three, but, it, but you got to think yeah, about yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I guess. So, Never. I will cry. I guess That's I what I'm saying. Cry. Two weeks. You, you talk, your two weeks only had to be like... Uh, 24 hours that a whole day true. with them and shit so You're it's right. like that's why i'm looking You're at it right. just like oh, so i shit. guess i so technically i guess i cried for less yes if you if you want to sit Pretty there like be that. if you want to do the calculations i guess i cry for less no but you were doing moving too fast though so. i was oh yes Everything i will was... admit that i was moving entirely yeah. too mad too fast to have not known somebody for that long like yeah i was moving too fast that's why i said i could relate to what daniela is saying because I was that girl. <laughs> like, between 18 and 22, baby, yes, I was that girl. And because I sat there and got dragged so much for what? How how many years is that? 18 to 22? That's what, four. five, four years? So, because I got dragged so bad them four freaking years, oh, baby, I had to grow t tough skin and put up boundaries and have requirements. Because I ain't have none of that before then. Just you know, didn't have them. Gonna get requirements and boundaries with me, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, but good, good but thing, look at what happened. Good, good thing those but look at were what happened. my fucking requirements and bombs that I had to have for my girl. I'm like, oh no, you gotta have this. You fucking but look at me. what happened. We Should end I, up long I'm, term. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get myself together for Kevin. I did, and I had a kid, <laughs> so I had to. Like I couldn't you just stop. be out here wilding. So, and yeah. I think it's probably that because it wouldn't have worked out. I've been like, yeah. baby. I would have been like, baby girl. Think, not baby girl, not the forehead, not the you know, head, bro. It's just not working you're for so me, you right now. Irritated. You would have went home and cried in that closet, you know? <laughs> yeah, like once I had my oldest son, I will always tell Jace. Jace changed my life. Like he changed me for the better because before him, like literally I had no boundaries, no, like I'm not going to say I didn't have any life goals, but I wasn't sticking to him. But because I had my son, it was like, oh, you got to stick to him because you got somebody else that's dependent on you. So he did. He made me more responsible, not just as like a mother, but just as a person in general in every like category in my life or whatever. Next, we go to the challenge. So during the challenge, the girls will have on heart monitors and the boys were um will be giving them lap dances so basically the so the objective of this game is to see who raises the heart rate of the boy or girls the most first person out was kenny kenny comes out in a football outfit and when i say baby janae was throwing that thing back on him i was like oh this is what y'all was doing in the hot way you remember that i was like oh okay okay girl next um who was that oh rob comes out in the cowboy outfit y'all i was cracking up this Boy, man came out looking like woody okay he's talking about it's the snake in my pants <laughs> boy i it's was sitting the there cracking up so he ends up picking up daniela um and daniela she was like oh my god like why would you sit there yeah because that's like he like damn i fucked up <laughs> i gotta get somebody i fucked up mm -hmm. you know so next comes out Cordell. He had on a, a nerd outfit. I thought it was a nerd or a scientist outfit or something. What was it but supposed to be? He said he a problem solver. Oh, That's yeah, what like he said. Geek, oh, geek. Like a geek. I don't know. Like so anywho, Corde Cordell was wilding. Okay. When I say he was picking girls up, he was humping them. When he humped Janae's booty, I said, oh, he had to get that one in. He had to. He like, because this the only oh, yeah. and last time he's going to be able to do that because that's his girl's friend. I remember friend. that one now. Okay. Then, oh, wait. Then he was rubbing his stuff all over uh, what's Ken Nicole. Nicole, remember he had her leg up here. Oh, yeah, he did have her and leg her up. And her panty, it wasn't just her. It was another girl with Leah. Leah, Leah. 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 It was Leah, yeah. Leah, Leah and Nicole. He sat there and was rubbing his little Peter Weeder through their panties. You all remember that? Man, I ain't looking at all but that. He, I think that. I ain't rubbing it, so it's I love you. Woo. I think that. I, 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 I don't need like practice. I was on my phone doing everything. Cordell was it. doing a bit much, baby. Um, Next came out Harrison. I'm sorry, baby. Harrison was giving Patty Mayo. Harrison was giving, he was dry. Teddy Mayo. He was giving dry. He was so dry. He ain't, yeah, he, he ain't make me boy, sit. I ain't even be like, That yeah, boy no. came soft. He Yeah, mallet. like. Like a Thor hand. It was he very. That, mallet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that boy came, came soft like shit. I don't want to abuse you. I'm a, he I'm, was very <laughs> underwhelming. I'm sorry. Next came out Aaron and he was an angel and he was you know he was like but he made sure he he kissed his boo boo uh, now he did put Kayla in a pretzel move at the end now he he kept all his stuff for his boo when he did that at the end I was like Kevin can you can you learn how to do that now the only thing See, was, I, I would do it right now, but I told you don't put your legs up in there on this camera, so I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But when this camera go off, I show you. Now the only thing was, y'all, he tried to move on Kendall, like rehearsing the move on Kendall before they before he tried it on what's the name? And I thought that was a little suspect. I'm like, bro, you not beating the allegations. You not beating the allegations he not, he that not, I'm having. He not. In my head about you because baby, like yeah, the move, even, the move that he, he did, did on he, Taylor, see the legs spinning for I get, 
But I think he even got in in, in yes. love on them clothes. Yes, he did. Like, bro, and he didn't have to do it that. Was that. And I'm it was like, like, come on now, you bro. Just, you could have just come like, on now, bro. let me do this leg part right quick. Yeah. Let me practice the legs twisting. But you were getting on the back of him like, and Kendall like, oh. went away from him like, dog, just, like, what, what are you doing? Next, we got Kendall who came out as the Sergeant Soldier Rambo. I don't know who he came, oh, yeah. he came out as an army person. <laughs> he was great. <laughs> I'm he like, like oh, bruh, oh, oh, oh. macho I'm man. He like, this that's what I guess somebody told him that's what all women want. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, know, they but hear it was, that. that was freaky. Like that was just, just it was uncomfortably freaky. Like, it was like, bro, what is what is the grunting about? Like mm. he he turned it. Like he made he turned everybody off from the grunting. Like see, the grunting see, was came too much. Saying, okay. So next was Miguel. Miguel came out as a firefighter. Baby, when I say Miguel used to do this to pay the rent, I don't care what nobody say. That man sat there man, you know and he was up even, in Chippendales or somewhere pay in, rent. in London, okay? Paying, getting his, paying his that rent. That boy ain't have to okay? pay rent. Because the he way he pay sat rent. there and came in. Landlord was like, shit, you good. Just do that dance. <laughs> Just do the dance. The way. The one thing that he sat there and did, I was like, oh, because, you know, he was a firefighter when he grabbed the fire and put it up against Leah's neck. I was like, oh, she, she looked, she ain't had no chemicals in her hair and nothing to catch. <laughs> he did. I gave him like at least a nine or a 10 out of 10. He did real good. So next was the girls turns. I'm sorry. Everybody was, they was all right. They was all right. Kayla, she was all right. Um... It was mainly her coming out as the cheerleader. So she came out as a cheerleader. Oh, yeah. You know, her, she, yeah her, her, like her, little, okay. well, her little outfit was surprising, though, because it was covering the front but showing the back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I think that's probably why, because her, her cheeks was out. Because one of them said, like, oh, they making sure they feeding them Pennsylvania people. I think it was Kenny, Kenny who said yeah. that. Yeah, Kenny was like, oh, they they feeding them Pennsylvania people. So I think they probably didn't realize how big... um. Taylor's booty is for you know a white girl or whatever, but she got she got her eye shape. You know her she was all right. I feel like she looked like a typical like white girl stripper. Next was Serena. Serena, you know she got up there. She did her thing. She was twerk twerk twerking it, shake shake shaking and clapping them clap clap clappers. And I think she 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 was one of the ones who uh she did the splits. Or was that Janae? We gonna come back to Janae. Because my girl Janae, I feel like she did the best out of everybody. But you know how colorism and all that stuff work. But anywho, um, so Serena did good. She brought, now she did bring Cordell down to the floor. And she was, you know, humping his face. I oh, said, yeah. get it, girl. Get it, girl. Yeah, get she it, girl. went in that part. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. <laughs> Leah, okay, so Janae did the best physically. I feel like Leah came with it when it comes to the innuendos. Leah did the best with the innuendos. So she had, uh, she had got in front of Kenny and she was like, she had a pump or her that's 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 the scope. Stethoscope. That's yeah, that. So she came and she put it onto his, you know, private area. And she was like, "Oh, I hear something pumping." Then she went to uh to um what's his name? Rob took hey. his temperature and she was like, "Oh, I think he still got the hots for me." <laughs> then <laughs> then she went to Kendall and she had a syringe and she uh squirted it in his mouth and she was like, "Ooh, I think I'm a squirter." <laughs> <laughs> so she had um she had a lot of good like in innuendos or whatever and then when it came to Miguel she was like oh I think he need mouth to mouth and she ended up kissing him so I feel like that was really cute like she had the best innuendos next was Daniela I'm sorry baby she was yeah. doing a little bit too much like she was doing entirely too much how she kissed Cordell in the mouth like why are you just cause you're single oh, yeah, now yeah, yeah. doesn't mean that you can now try to gun for somebody else do and you know we in the last week of the show so to me that was just tasteless it was tasteless and it was immature and now i understand why rob said that he don't really want to be with you like that and not only that but you just started getting cool with the girls like to where you not really like an outsider for real since you came from the casa house so for you to sit there and do that 
that that was messed up so she so cordell that happened with cordell which i'm pretty sure he was highly surprised and that came completely off guard so he wasn't able to stop her from doing that but when it came real to life Aaron, challenges yeah still, i still but look at it, it, real life challenges though right but he not thinking that she's going to kiss him that's like if no because that's like if somebody out of nowhere sat there and was like and did that to you you see you hell just, no you the situation they yeah, was but dancing. But you not thinking that they're going to kiss you. They expected what, if, the, no, what could happen. No, if every so other girl like, before her came and didn't do all of that, why would you think she's going to do that? You're you not going to think that she's going to do that. No, no, no nobody, I'm so not going to think that. It was, to me, that was disrespectful. For, so by the time she got to Aaron, Aaron was like, uh-uh, no kissing. You get what I'm saying? He was able to put, because mm -hmm. he seen what happened with Cordell. He like, no, that's that ain't okay or whatever and serena looked too like girl what like why is you kissing on him yeah, like none of yeah, none of the rest you. of us sat here and kissed any other girls dudes like half of us is closed off anyway so why would you do that she was mid and she ended up pulling rob down like oh i gotta show him what he's missing girl he ain't missing nothing <laughs> he didn't care next sierra comes in as a firefighter and um she was cute she did her cute little thing or whatever and that was that it wasn't nothing that was like super memorable or nothing but that's just how like sierra is though anyway um after that janae came in at no 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 uh nicole came in as a race car driver she was cute all of the girls looked beautiful or whatever but theirs was kind of mid compared to the boys to be honest um except for janae so Janae came in and stole the show, baby. She had them clappers clapping. But Victoria's Secret, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. She had them clappers clapping. She sat there and told Kenny. She he was the first one she dragged, and she ended up dragging him on the floor. You know, she was all on him and stuff. And then she said, I want you to watch while I do this to everybody else or whatever. But not on no like I'm trying to get back at you, but on some like voyeurism type stuff yeah i was like baby i might be with uh with the rest of the house she gonna break that man in half because i think she freaky 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 if you sat there and you you watched her segment baby you could tell baby girl is freaky okay and she may be too freaky for kenny quiet behind but you never know i i'm i'm gonna put some respect on kenny name because he might be into some weird stuff too they just ain't had enough time to you know figure that out yet but anywho after that all of a sudden cassie come in the uh bombshell now me personally i don't feel like she's a bombshell no. she's giving average to me i'm no. I, like I don't know, maybe because we've had the Casa girls and now she's coming after the Casa girls and I just feel like the Casa girls were giving bombshell for real, for real. She's giving, like, I feel like I could see Cassie down in Albuquerque. That's what it's giving. It's giving one of the Albuquerque girls who know how to apply their makeup. That's what it's giving. So she comes in, she does her little dance or whatever. She might be on the same season as uh, Harrison was on because she um she was like hey how you doing i ain't seen you in a minute i don't know if she said that to rob or she said that to harrison i think she said it to harrison but yeah her stuff was all right then she goes to miguel and miguel was feeling oh, cast yeah miguel he was feeling her he like got, if y'all watch trouble. it back okay if y'all watch it back when she sat down on the side of him he he had his arms still on on her her oh, yeah. her other side over yeah. here. He was low key. He ain't want to let it go, baby. Cassie, you know, she comes in or whatever. And all the girls are like, oh, oh my god. god, they saying little comments like, who is she? They was saying whatever they were saying. They was all in their feelings. So next, Maura Higgins walks in, y'all. Y'all know, anytime the host comes in, it's some type of twist catch 22 some some about to happen she ends up coming in and she announces the heart rate like results or whatever so rob's heart rate was raised the most by leah <laughs> the hots for me aaron's heart was raised the most by Ky kayler hey. cordell's heart rate was raised the most by serena kenny and harrison heart rate was raised the most by kayler 
which surprised me. Well, no, it didn't. It don't surprise me, especially for Harrison. I feel like that's just say his, Kenny and who? Kenny and Harrison. But I feel like with him being uh, all of not all American, because mm -hmm. he's, he's not American, but him being blonde hair, blue eyes, I would think that that would be his first go to phenotype to be attracted to. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, anywho, and then with Kenny, the same. Um, and then uh, Kendall's heart rate was raised the most by Nicole. And Miguel's heart rate was raised the most by Cassie. So, yeah, that was crazy, right? Yeah, there. I'm like. I'm like, she oh, raised his heart I'm rate. I'm like, really? So, At but, all? Honestly, Probably I feel she like. Was just new. Yeah, and Probably I feel like it's new. that. I you feel like I mean? Miguel, he likes the thrill of the yeah. chase and he and likes that's, newness. That's it. That's I just it. feel like he likes newness. That's yeah. it. Because he did the same the thing time, with Sierra. He thrill. liked Sierra and then once the thrill of her being new, he was like, no, nah, I think I just want to feel, you know, I'm mm -hmm. feeling Leah. Because if you think about it, even with him first coming into the house, he, him and Leah had no interaction. Leah wasn't thinking about him. You get what I'm saying? All the girls was running up to him, being all on his mm -hmm. tip and everything. Leah was the one who didn't. She didn't run up to him. So all of a sudden, randomly, he ended up feeling Leah because she was the new thing. All the rest of the girls had wore themselves out too early. For the girls, Kyler, Kayler's heart was raised the most by Aaron. Serena's was raised the most by Cordell. Sierra, Leah, and Nicole's right uh, hearts. And it was another one too. Serena. So oh, four, yeah, yeah, that's four. four. So oh, Sierra, Sierra, Leah, and Nicole's heart rates were all raised the most by Cordell. Including Serena's. Right. So technically, so he, had he had four. Yeah. Right. But we were just saying like they matched Cordell and Serena. They both matched each other, all and right. then everybody else got a super turned on yeah, by Cordell. Um, and then Kendall, Kendall, he was like, wait, what? He couldn't believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kendall, he could not believe. And that's why Harrison said he don't feel like Nicole is as closed off as she like puts on to be. Nicole playing the long game and she's a very, 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 very good actress. I will say that. You think she acting? I think she acting. I think she's not as closed off as mm -hmm. she's saying I, that I, she I mean, she want to be, or know, yeah, or she's she portraying acting, to be. So that's a Libra for you, though. Oh, Daniela's heart rate, or no, Janae's heart rate raised the most about Kenny, <coughs> and the boys end up winning. And so Mora, she ends up uh, continuing to present the group with more news. She then reveals that America has been voting for their favorite couple as um, this whole entire time. So she then reveals who the top four couples are and it didn't go in any like specific order. It wasn't from like most voted to least or anything like that. Um, so basically she said, that um you know these people these top four couples are saved they aren't in trouble of getting kicked off the island or whatever so the first safe couple was janae but, and kenny oh but what what about the other people oh the other people are in in jeopardy of getting kicked off the island the last three couples so it's seven couples all together the top four are saved the bottom three they could get kicked off so the first safe couple was Janae and Kenny. The next couple was Nicole and Kendall. Um, the third couple safe was Leah and Miguel, and the last couple was Serena and Cordell. And in the last video, did I not did I not put them in that order? I put them in that order. I was like, these are this would be my top four. I knew it when when she was naming them off. I'm like, I bet you it's the top four couples that I said is my top four. I was like, because the, these other ones, baby, no, it ain't giving. So at this point, Mora ends up telling the safe couples that they now have to vote for another say another couple to save based off of compatibility so all of the couples at this point they like no like i don't want to do that i don't want to be put in this position i don't want to be the one to vote or whatever but they have to yeah i know so at that point it, it closes the show ends up going and it does this little b-roll to the next 
day. Okay, y'all. So this is the end of our video. If you like content and want to see more like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. And we will see you tomorrow in the next tomorrow. video. Yes, tomorrow, y'all. We'll Love tomorrow. Island USA will be over. I believe the last episode is Sunday. So you're going to get a video from us every day until the last episode. Yay. Yay. Okay, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.